Well, I was a tax lawyer and I was worked on Wall Street uh, for a short period of time in the, what was then the real estate departments, but it certainly isn't the way developed the way it is today. Um, so I didn't, I liked real estate because as a tax lawyer when I was practicing, I had several clients and I was really you know, kind of in, interested in, in the direction of real estate as a, as a profession. Um, and then I've grown since that and my passion has grown. And uh, I think it's, you know, it's a, it's, to me it's one of the greatest professions and the impact you can have on cities and, you know, because you're dealing with hard assets and, and people are really relying upon you to really make that city a better place. Well, I mean, we had developed Time Warner Center and we saw the impact that had on the uh, uh, west side and on, and on the city. And I think the dream of every real estate developer is really to develop impactful projects and something that will have a lasting uh, you know, impact. As, as, and certainly uh, we saw when we did uh, Time Warner Center, we impacted the city, but we didn't know anything around it. And everybody else really profited. When the opportunity to do uh, Hudson Yards came about, I mean, it was, no one had ever done a project like that, so people would ask us, how can you do a project like that? I said, we'll figure it out. You know, that's the same thing they said about Time Warner Center. So having figured that out, we figured we'd figure we'd be able to develop Hudson Yards. And I think the impact it's going to have in the city and what it will do and be looked at around the world as a live, work, play environment and what you can do, I think will have a lasting you know, influence. And, uh, you know, it's exciting, it's complex, and uh, I think people really, when it opens, will be quite surprised. Well, I mean, I think from the real estate capital markets, it's going to be the impact on the economy in terms of the capital markets, you know, the availability of, of, of cash and where interest rates will be. But overall, how it will impact specific markets is something that, you know, I think we have to study and understand. Certainly with, with SALT and the, when you look at the high tax states, California, uh, New York, where we're very active, you know, one has to be somewhat cautious and trying really to understand what the impact of that will be. You know, we all like to believe it won't have an impact, um, but, you know, and those are two of the most popular states in the country. I mean, New York City today is probably the best real estate market there is in the United States. It's the one where especially attracts more capital than any other market, and probably second is California. So, I mean, the impact of that and the growth of those states is really gonna impact the real estate uh, you know, markets.